October 2024, resolved with the support of 282 members, being at least two thirds, being at least two thirds of all the members of the National Assembly, that pursuant to the provisions of Article 145.2, as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution and the Standing Order 65.2 of the National Assembly Standing Orders. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, be removed from office by impeachment on the ground on the ground specified in the motion. Whereas by letter reference NA stroke DLP stroke TBO stroke MTS stroke 2024 uh, 025, dated the 8th of October 2024, and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on the 9th of October 2024, and the on the 9th of October 2024, the Speaker of the National Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the special motion by the National Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the National Assembly. And whereas Vide Kenya Gazette number 137, 18, volume CXXV1 number 163, dated 9th of October 2024, and Article 145.3a of the Constitution, the Speaker of the Senate appointed Wednesday the 16th of October 2024 and Thursday the 17th of October 2024 as sittings convinced for the purpose of hearing the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, by plenary. Further whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 151b and 2, of the Constitution and Standing Orders number 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate had the National Assembly on the grounds for the proposed removal from office by way of impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And further whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution and Standing Orders number 178, And standing order number 78 and 79 of the Senate standing orders, uh, the Senate also had the counsel for His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, during cross-examination of the witnesses for the National Assembly on the grounds of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Deputy President of Republic of Kenya. Noting that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, did not appear during the afternoon sitting of the Senate on Thursday, 17th, October 2024, further noting that counsel for His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, sought an adjournment of the Senate until Tuesday, the 22nd of October 2024, at 9 a.m., to allow His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, to appear and give evidence, if any, on grounds for his proposed removal from office by impeachment. Further noting that pursuant to standing order, sorry, further noting that pursuant to Article 145.4 of the Constitution, a proposing impeachment hearing for the removal from office of a deputy president must be concluded within day, uh, 10 days from the date of the reading of the charges, which period in this case expires on Saturday, the 19th of October, uh, 2024. Now, therefore, the Senate resolves as follows. One, to adjourn today's afternoon sitting on Thursday, the 17th of October 2024, and pursuant to Standing Order Number 344C of the Senate Standing Orders, to hold sittings on Saturday, 19th of October 2024, commencing at 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. and 2:30 until the conclusion of business in the order paper on that day, in order to hear, in order to conclude the hearing and determination of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, this is a self-explanatory procedural motion that in light of the request of counsel for the Deputy President, this House adjourns until the closest time possible without violation of the Constitution within which we can sit and conclude on this matter. As I move this motion though, Mr. Speaker, I must note that the request that came from counsel for the Deputy President, Senior Counsel Paul Mwite, is that we actually sit on Tuesday. I am sure he knows very well the 10-day provision.
but I don't know why he wants this house to violate the constitution, Mr. Speaker, or at least send us into a constitutional crisis. Be that as it may, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge my colleagues that let us sit on that Saturday, despite the fact that I know there are quite a number of Adventists, but duty calls, uh, Mr. Speaker. And this is an important exercise that has the breadth of the country holding still while watching what is happening in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, with those very many remarks, uh, I want to request the minority leader, Senator Justice Stewart Mazzaio, to second this motion. I thank you. Justice retired Stewart Mazzaio. Sorry, my apologies. Order, 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 honorable senators. You know, it, it, it pays to be attentive. I've just said this is a procedural motion. It does not require notice. Senator Karungo.